Okay, for our first shoulder exercise, we're going to do dumbbell Arnold presses. And here's what they look like. We're going to start holding the dumbbells in front of us like this with our palms facing in. Then we're going to move them around in a circular fashion, press them above our head till they come together, come back around, and repeat. Exhale as we push them up, inhale on the way down. Make sure to fully extend those arms. Make sure you fully engage your shoulders. So for our first set, we're going to do 15, then we're going to do 12, then we're going to do 10, 8, 6, and then two breakdown sets of 10. Okay, our next shoulder exercise is going to be behind the back upright rows. This is a lesser known exercise that I really, really like because it really targets your rear delts and your traps, especially your lower traps. So here's what it looks like. We're going to stand with our feet about shoulder width apart. We're going to hold a barbell behind us like this, palms facing forward. What we're going to do is pull the bar up as high as we possibly can, hold for a second, and then lower it back down. Lift and lower. This time you're going to be exhaling as you pull it up. I'm sorry, I'm going to inhale on the way down and exhale as you pull the bar up. From a side angle. Now I'm just using the bar alone right now and I already feel my rear delts firing up big time. The bar weighs 45 pounds, so be very meticulous about the amount of weight you use. So for this drill, we're going to do a set of 12, 10, 8, 6, and then two breakdown sets of 10. Okay, for our final shoulder exercise, we're going to do dumbbell full front circles. And here's what they look like. We're going to hold dumbbells in front of our body like this. Now, we're going to start by doing a lateral raise, then we're going to keep the dumbbells going and come all the way above our head until our palms face each other. Then we're going to come back around, turn our palms down, come right back to the front, and repeat. So it looks like this. Big inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. Pretty self-explanatory. So for this drill, we're going to do a set of 10, 8, 6, and then two breakdown sets of 10. Okay, we're now on to the triceps. And our first exercise is going to be bench tricep dips. Now you can do these with just the bench alone, with your feet on the floor, or you can elevate your feet on another bench, or what I like to do is put them on a stability ball, like this. So, comfortably place your feet on the ball or your other bench, and bring your hands on the edge of this bench here, try to keep your back as straight as you can. Now what we're gonna do is keep our elbows in as we bend our elbows and lower ourselves down. And then we're gonna exhale as we push ourselves up. So it's a big inhale down, exhale up. And remember, try to keep your elbows Inward, don't let them flare out to the sides because that places too much stress on your shoulders. And if you want to get a little more, which I'm guessing you want to do, a little more resistance, you can place a dumbbell on the tops of your legs like this, and then walk yourself out, and then do your dips. You can also place a weight plate on your legs as well. Whatever type of resistance works best for you is totally up to you. So those right there are your bench tricep dips. And for our rep scheme, we're gonna do a set of 12, 10, eight, six, and then two breakdown sets of 10. Okay, for our second triceps exercise, we're gonna do a single arm overhead tricep extension. And here's what it looks like. We're gonna grab one dumbbell, we're gonna press it above our head like this. Now we're gonna take this hand, we're gonna place it right here on this arm, and we're gonna lower this behind our head, and we're gonna press it straight up in the air. And the reason we're putting this hand here is because we don't want our elbow to come out to the side like this. Because we tend to get lazy sometimes after a few reps. By putting this hand here, it anchors your upper, upper arm in position, and it's much easier to get that nice tricep squeeze right at the top right there. So we're going to lower it nice and slow, and then press it all the way up. Inhale down, exhale up. So once you've established a set of reps on your right arm, you're quickly going to go right to your left, and then you're just going to switch back and forth. So for our first set, we're going to do 10, then we're going to do 8, then we're going to do 6, and then we'll do two breakdown sets of 10. Okay, now we're on to the biceps, the front part of the upper arm. So our first exercise we're going to do is a wide grip barbell curl. So instead of our hands being right here about shoulder width apart, we're going to widen them out like this. 
And what, does, what this does is it puts a little more emphasis on the interior part of our biceps. So the way it's going to work is we're going to stand with our feet about shoulder width apart, and we're going to do a biceps curl just like we would if our hands were closer. So take a big inhale, exhale, bring it up toward your chest, hold for a second, slowly lower it down, bring it up, slowly lower it down. So remember, don't arch your back, don't swing your hips, don't do this, don't lift your elbows forward. Keep your elbows pinned by your sides the whole time you do this exercise. Just like that. Cool. Okay, so for our first set, we're gonna do 12, then we're gonna do 10, then we're gonna do eight, six, and then two breakdown sets of 10. Okay, to finish off our biceps, we're gonna do a fun little exercise called Zotman curls with dumbbells. And here's what it looks like. We're gonna hold the dumbbells at our sides. We're gonna lift them up like this, up toward our chest. And when we come up here, we're gonna turn our palms this way, so they're facing down. We're gonna lower them back down, turn our palms up, turn our palms down, bring them back down. Back and forth. And back down. So for our first set, we're gonna do 10, and then we're gonna do eight, then we're gonna do six, and then we're gonna do two breakdown sets of 10.